Hello to all my lovers of beauties out of. Take one. I can't believe this. Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great afternoon. Today's Saturday, and I'm coming with you directly from my house with a new haul video. That sounded cheesy. Good afternoon, everybody, and I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Today, I'm coming to you live with a new haul video. I did some shopping at Sephora Bath & Body Works and um, ordered some stuff from Worth and LA Splash. Let's get into it. First thing that I've gotten um, are I ordered from Morph brushes, and I got three brushes. The first one is the Morph M705. It's a detailed concealer brush. The second brush I have is a M439 and it's a round buffer brush. Um, I saw Jaclyn Hill. Hi Jaclyn. I saw Jaclyn Hill using this in one of her videos and she said she absolutely loved it so I figured hey why not go out and try it. The third brush that I bought is a E31 flat deluxe buffer brush. I have one of these brushes already and I already tortured it. Um, I don't know how many of you have gotten like this gooey, cakey, I guess foundation as you're washing it stuck around the base inside. That's what happened to the last brush that I bought. So I figured I'll just get a new one and start fresh. Um, I think I did ruin it. I'm not sure. The bristles are starting to pop out. But I got a new one, so hey, why not? The next thing I ordered from Morph were two Jeffree Star lipsticks. One is Posh Spice, and the other one is In the Nude. And this one is Posh Spice. And this one is In the Nude. This one, I say, is comparable to the Dose of Colors um, Stone. It's like this brown taupey color. It's really pretty. And I hear that, you know, Jeffree Star's formulas are very creamy and they last all day. So we'll see. I'll be trying these out this week. And I'll let you know if they've hit my favorites of the month if I do a video. Also is this one. And I'm nude and this one is comparable to sand I believe in color I don't know about the formulas yet but this one is really really a really light nude if you can see the colors on my hand so this one is posh spice and this one is in I'm nude Next, I ordered two lippies from LA Splash from the Studio Shine Luster Waterproof line. And they came out with six new colors from, sorry you guys, from Dia de los Muertos collection. And it's six different colors and, they're all, and they all have like a metallic finish to them. I picked up Valentina and Guadalupe. Guadalupe is... A metallic um, copper and Guadalupe I'm sorry Guadalupe is a metallic copper and Valentina is similar to the color that's on my nails it's like a really dark berry color and it's supposed to have a metallic finish when I pull it out it doesn't really have the metallic sheen to it I'll just have to wear it one day and see what happens. But when you look into, when you look at it from in the, whatever you want to call this, the bottle, it looks metallic-y. Like, you can see the metallic luster in it. So, we'll see. I, I actually love the LA Splash um, liquid lipsticks. They stay all day. Like, they are perfect for your working working woman they are really perfect you don't have to touch up you can eat drink you can do whatever when I tell you that they do not move once they set they do not move 
um, I literally have to take because I also I wear the color to work in Nymphadora it's a very pretty brown nude it's kind of it's similar to this one as well it's a posh spice and when I come home and I say you have to take it off a of baby oil girl girl baby oil is like the only thing that helps get these things off next I went to Sephora and I bought the TARDIS um what is this the clay paint liner I've heard a lot of good things about this pretty much it comes in a tube and it actually has a brush I bought this and I thought the brush was sold separately and so I just opened it and I'm like oh the brush is inside like duh so it's just a black eyeliner if I can get it to come up oh there it is I didn't I don't really want to waste the product but but that's how it comes out it has this little round shape thing here and it comes with a brush and you just pretty much do one of these you dab in and then I'm gonna go in between here and you just draw your line And with this, it looks like a little goes a long way. Um, I believe it dries to a matte finish. Just grab that there. And just clean this off. Yeah, I just wasted a whole bunch of product. Do you know how many eyeliners I could have deal with that? How many times I could have lined my eye? But this is for you guys. I love you. Sorry. Wasted product. This wasn't cheap. Um, it dries to a mat. Yes, and it's drying really fast. If you can see that there. I'm talking about it's black. It dries to a black, 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 black finish. Next. Da, 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 da. Next, I only got like three things from Sephora. I only got like three things from Sephora. I didn't get a lot. Next is this D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I use um, Urban Decay's All Nighter. I wanted to try the D-Slick being that this is for oil control. And I'm oily in my T-Zone area. Everybody raves about the All Nighter. I rave about the All Nighter. I love it. But we're going to try the D-Slick this month to see how well this works. And hopefully all of this stuff makes it into like my November favorites video if I plan, which I'm, I may do one. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do um, a favorites video. I know I've been doing calls. Um, I do have a get ready with me on this look coming up. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't really have a really big agenda on um, videos right now. Um, next I picked up. And initially, I went into Sephora to get only a mascara. I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I got the Too Faced Better Than Fall Slash Extreme. And this is supposed to help lengthen your eyelashes um, with fibers. So it says, new formula brush fibers for ridiculously longer and thicker lashes. I used them on my lashes today. And... I've been using this for the last couple of days and I can honestly say like right about now I really like it um so pretty much what it is is three steps first you use the mascara to coat and this is better than sex fall slashes extreme prime and seal mascara so this is steps one and three and then for step two you'll use the lash extension fibers and pretty much you'll put on a coat of mascara, put this on, and then put on the mascara on top. I'll do it about two or three times, and I can re I really see a difference when I use it. Like, I did one eye, and then I did the next, and I was just like, wow. The difference in it is, like, the bomb.com. I'm not really a girl that likes to sit and try to glue on false lashes every day or go to the salon to get some lash extensions put on. My eyes are sensitive and the less I do playing with my eyelashes and my eye area, the better off I pretty much am. 
because my allergies are just like the worst known to man and the fact also I went to Sephora to pick up my happy birthday one year boulder gift and it's pretty much a NARS trio and it's for VIB Rouges you get two NARS lip pencils and an eyeliner I'll show you what that looks like so this is a satin lip pencil and this one is a velvet matte pencil and this one is in the color Cruella and she is a red this is her up here at the top it's a red it's a red base color and I don't know how to pronounce this one Rikujin I, I don't know how to pronounce it but it's a pretty, it's like a pinky nude. I'll swatch that for you guys. And then that's the color at the top. If you can see that. And then next is the, their Narja's Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in Via Mentino. Pretty much it's just a black. It's a black and it's matte. And it's really black. I may be using this on my waterline. So that's the color. That's the color there for you guys to see. And then from Bath and Body Works. So that's it for Sephora. Um, I also went to Bath and Body Works. And I got four soaps. I'll show you what each one is because well i'll show you what two of them are because i got four two and two they're the same so i picked up this brandied apple pear um deep cleansing can soap gotta have good smelling hands the soap is really good i love their soaps and i got the cranberry citrus and sage gentle foaming can soap as well you can see that guys um these were on sale four for 18 I think now they have a sale 5 for 18 for the, these are the fall scents for the winter scents. And then I also grabbed a candle. I was in desperate need of a candle. You can see I already put it in my candle holder. Um, and this was actually on sale 50% off. And it's the spooky vanilla scented candle. And pretty much with this thrills, chills, and a spine tingly scent await you in sparkly notes of French vanilla cream of creamy French vanilla I cannot speak sparkling sugar crystals and fluffy marshmallow and when I tell you that this thing smells like you want to eat it like it smells like you want to eat it it smells like birthday cake like I just want to eat it I will be lighting it once this video is over because the last candle that I bought and we burnt that to the max was the Pop Tails Mango Coconut Cooler. And this says one fresh island coconut, three tropical mango sliced a touch of like sliced touch of light rum bottoms up. This was my jam over the summertime. And I can't wait till the summertime comes back because that'll be my jam again. And honestly, guys, that concludes this video. I don't have anything else to show you guys. Um, yeah, this haul is over. Until next time. Bye.